What's up guys, Rob at Optimal Bodies. So today we're going to talk about when it's important to back off your training. So if you're in the gym or you're doing something outside the gym, uh, you might be running or you might be doing a certain sport, football, something like that. So some sort of exercise. When should you have some time off? When should you rest? When is it actually beneficial to take a step back and let your body recover in a, in a sense to be stronger and better at what you do? So the most important one, number one, is injury. So even if it's just like a little niggle, um, so you might be doing you might be doing like a shoulder press movement, and you feel a little twinge in your shoulder, and you you push through it, and it starts to get worse each time you train. I see a lot of that happening. It happens to myself. Uh, it seems to be quite common in shoulder injuries. It's a common place. Then it is. I know it's hard to back off, um, but in the long run, it's it's better to step, take one step back to go two steps forward then get really like make it worse and worse and end up taking multiple steps backwards and it takes a long time to get back, back to where you are so it's important to back off maybe have a week off or maybe avoid the exercises that are hurting it so if anything overhead might for a shoulder uh, for example avoid anything that's hurting it usually pain is your body's way of protecting the area it's telling you to back off um, because you might be causing further damage to that area it's, it's um, protective mechanism so your body's not stupid, most of the time it's there for a reason. Unless it's some sort of long-term chronic injury, they can they can start sending pain signals uh, when there's not actually any damage there. But usually if it's if it's something new and it starts niggling, then then that is a great reason to back off. I'd say either have a, you could have a week off um, and then go back to it and see how it is, or just event, avoid the movements that are hurting it. Um, so you can sort of work around injuries, you don't have to completely miss training. Um, but if you're getting multiple areas that are hurting, like your shoulders niggling, your back, your legs might be, just multiple areas of your body, then that is your body's way of saying back off. And in that sense, I'd have a week off. Um, even like schedule it in where you book a holiday. Um, not only are you giving your body a re body rest, but you're giving your mind a rest. Um, it's like we do, we do most of us train if we want to look good. Go have a holiday, enjoy it. Um, even like show off your new physique. Um, a lot of people diet and train for a holiday, so... Use it wisely and have some time off and give yourself a break. You don't have to train 24-7. And often it's great to give your body a rest and come back stronger. Um, even, so less is actually more. You don't need to burn yourself out and train every day because you, that's what will happen. You will burn yourself out. Your nervous system gets tired. Your muscles, your tendons, your ligaments, your joints, they need time to recover if you've really been hitting it hard. So, yeah, give yourself a break. Any injuries, little niggles, um, then it is going to be more beneficial to back off and come back stronger. Um, a good good rule of thumb is if your strength is decreasing in the gym, uh, say your diet's the same because it can happen when you change your diet, but say your diet's staying the same, but you're training, your strength starts to drop a little bit or you just can't get stronger, it's staying about the same, then that is a good sign that you need to back off and let your body recover. You're training, your muscles get damaged, they get slight micro tears in them, they grow back stronger. But if you're overtraining, you're training too often, you're training for too long, then you're, bit, you're sort of beating the system. Your body's not getting a chance to recover, ready for your next session. So if your strength isn't changing, or if even worse, it's decreasing, then that is a good signal that you need time off. And your niggles, you're feeling tired, you're not up for your workout, you're not improving each time you're in the gym, then it's most people, yeah, it's, it seems common sense to do more, but it's actually more common sense to take a step back to text it two steps forward. So that's where, again, I recommend having even a week or two off. Just keep your diet really clean, keep it the same, um, even tweak it slightly. If you're not in the gym as much, you might not be as hungry because you're not training as much, you're not using as much energy. So if you're not as hungry, just that's your body's way of telling you you don't need as much. Um, so just go by how you feel um, and don't be afraid to back off because you, you will come back stronger. So take that one step back is going to take multiple steps forward rather than keeping pushing and pushing and pushing eventually something's going to break you drive your car around and your tires are going your brakes are going and it starts to skidding if you lock it if you're braking things like that um it's not just going to it's not going to suddenly get better on its own you have to back off fix the car and then it comes back so that's a good analogy to use um eventually something will break you can't just keep pushing and pushing it let your body recover. Don't be afraid to have time off. It doesn't make you a weaker person. It's going to make you strong in the long run. Okay, so any questions on this or any other topic, drop me a message, post in the comments below. Please like and share this if you think it's useful to anyone else. Um, and we're sponsored by Dan Fitness Clothing Company. Check them out at downfitness.com and you can quote Rob10, you get 10% off. Okay, cheers for listening. Have a good day, guys. Cheers.